The toughest part of playing Rugby Sevens is the repeatability of the speed endurance, the speed and the collisions in the dying moments in these hot countries. You can't really see straight and you've got to put away a play that might save the game or win the game, get you through to a final or a semi-final, but you've already got 13 minutes in the bank. It's, it's really tough going. As a winger, it might be that I actually have to run the length of the pitch and I'm like, no! <laughs> but I love, I love it. It is incredibly tough. Three. Three. Oh, good. Nice little Playing sevens is just like the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's amazing and I love it. I competed in athletics for 10 years. I competed in the heptathlon. The transition was pretty smooth as in I started playing Bucks rugby and then moved straight um, into sort of the development side of seven. That was only just over two years ago when I started playing. I've been playing rugby sevens for, I don't want to give away my age. <laughs> my background prior to rugby sevens was sprinting and um, so I did a lot of athletics. Did that from the age of nine till about 20 um, and also netball and loved netball which was nice because that sort of gave me an introduction to the team side of things and also how fast that game is. I've never been the most agile um, so I sort of that sort of translates onto the pitch so I'm more of like a, a, a runner rather than I'm not, not really going to step people and things like that. From athletics I think my most transferable skill is my speed and um, very lucky that I've done a lot of straight line running because I think it's actually quite hard to get people to run in a straight line sometimes. <laughs> For me, really the mental side of it, the switch on switch off process has been one of the things I've really taken from athletics into um, sevens. It's quite hard to switch on switch off if you've had a bad event or a bad game or something but I think it's a skill to really master it. I was 21 when I first started playing and obviously that's so late in comparison to some of the people that have played since they were six but I don't see that as an obstacle like if you wanted to try it just try it. Rugby wasn't something that was available to the girls and so I didn't consider it at all until I did my transfer program in 2012 and I wish I'd done it sooner because I think this is the perfect sport for me and that's why I get to represent my country and this is what I'm probably born to do. Henry.